Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I have a PR package from To Be Glam and this is their new nude and pink six color gel polish set. I am super excited for this. I have tried a previous gel polish set from To Be Glam and they sent me this one too and it was by surprise and I was so excited to receive this. I absolutely loved their last gel polish set. I'll have that video linked up in the card so after this one you can go watch that one. But I was just so excited to receive another new product from them. They have just released these gel polishes. I absolutely love their poly gels and I am totally loving their gel polishes as well. The bottles for these gel polishes are so simple and sleek. I love the light pink design and I like the color sticker, but honestly, the way I organize all of my gel polishes, I wish the color sticker was on top, but I do like how they are named. I love when gel polishes are named. I just think it's so cute and fun to reference like the name of the gel polish. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them here, and while I'm swatching them, I'm going to quickly just talk about like the formula and everything like that. I really liked the consistency of these gel polishes. They were a medium consistency. They weren't too thin and they weren't too thick, but they also had great coverage. They were very pigmented and consistent, and I just really loved all of the colors, and they were just great quality gel polishes. Honestly, they were a little bit on the thinner side, but I was okay with that just because even though they were a little bit thinner, they were still great pigment and had like the, it was just very great quality gel polishes. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but honestly, these were super great quality and I believe that you can purchase these from the To Be Glam website for under $20. Maybe they're like $17 for the whole set. And I think that is a great price because these are super high quality and honestly you could get away with using one coat which will make your gel polishes last a lot longer. These You do get these six different bottles and they are all 6 ml so they are a little bit smaller bottles but they are very beautiful and just great formula and everything about them is just really great. I, all of these colors were so gorgeous and they just went so well together. Here are all of the swatches. I did apply two coats of each color and the To Be Glam top coat. This does include two glitter shades, so absolutely beautiful. Like I was saying, just look at how beautiful these colors are. Again, this is two coats, but one coat, I felt like you totally could have gotten away with it. So I'm pointing out here which colors I felt like I was going to be using, but I do only end up use the pink and the rose gold color. I'm going to be doing a a press dupe, the Gel X dupe, um, using the Bella Vina 401 base coat again. I'm just so obsessed with this. I sized out my full cover 3XL stiletto nail tips. I purchased these from AliExpress. They'll be linked down below. I also have a video that I just uploaded yesterday about the Bella Vina 401 base coat kit. I'll have that linked up in the cards as well. This is a great kit. Totally recommend trying it. I'll have it linked down below and you can check out the video. I go a little bit more in depth about it. My brush was a little wonky so I opted out for another brush just so I didn't have to deal with the wonkiness of that brush. But it's okay. I also applied my DIY peel off base coat onto my natural nails. For that, I just applied some cuticle oil, I rubbed that in, and then I applied my gel top coat and cured for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. That helps, so I am able to pop the nails off in the end. Since I do have to film a lot of videos and get them up on my YouTube channel for you guys. So that is the reason I do that. But if you want these to last, you will want to prep your natural nails and also etch the inside of your full cover nail tips. As you can see, I'm just taking my brush, applying a small amount of that 
four-in-one base coat to the cuticle area of the nail and then I'm slowly lowering it down onto my nail and holding it as I place it in the lamp for a little while. You honestly don't even have to hold it in there until the light turns off. You can just hold it in and then once it feels like it has a good secure hold, you can take it out. Just remember in the end, once you have all of the nails on, you are going to want to move into your big lamp and do a full cure of 30 to 60 seconds. After I put these into my big lamp to cure for that full 30 to 60 second cure, I'm now going in with a cuticle drill bit and my e-file. I have this on a very low speed and I am just using a very light hand and just gently cleaning up around the cuticle area. This helps to remove any of that extra base coat that may have cured around the cuticle area creating lumps and bumps and it also helps make the nails look a bit more natural and flush to your cuticle to take away that press on vibe. I hope you understand what I say when I say press on vibe but since I put these nails on using like the gel X method or I, I don't even know what it's called. Is it like the A-Press dupe or the A-Press? I don't even know but the way I applied these nails, they kind of give off press on vibes. So taking an e-file, a hand file, a buffing block, just filing around the cuticle area will help make it a little bit more flush and look a lot better when you apply your gel polish. You could also do that before you apply the nails, but I personally like to just clean and shape around the cuticle before applying the nails and then I go further in cleaning up the cuticle cuticle once the nails are applied. That way I can have the perfect fit for my nail beds. I also like to go in with my buffing block and just remove the shine from the nail tips. That way when I apply my gel polish, my base coat, anything like that, it will stick and not flake or peel off. And this just helps for longer wear, especially like when you're in the shower, washing dishes, just anything, this will truly help your gel polish from not peeling off and lasting a lot longer. I also took my hand file and just crisp up the shape of these nails a little bit. These stiletto nails are a little round and I like mine to be a little bit more pointy. So I do just take my hand file and go in with a little shaping. After I'm all finished with that, I'm just taking my dust brush and removing all of that dust. And then I'm going to go in with the Tubi Glam base coat and just apply base coat to all of these nails. Once that is applied, I'm going to pop these into the nail lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then we are moving on to the nail design. After the base coat is all cured and applied, I was super excited to move right into this design. I'm going to be using shade Cookie, which is that beautiful rose gold glitter shade. I am in love with rose gold. I have loved rose gold since I was a little girl. I don't know what about it. I just love it better than like actual gold. I just love the rose gold effect, like that's why I have that rose gold brush. Rose gold is just so beautiful, so I could not resist not adding this gel polish color into my nail set today. It was just so beautiful and I loved it so much. And honestly, the pigmentation in this color was just like so beautiful and like very high quality. I just loved it so much. These gels were awesome and the colors in this little set were just like 
It blew me away. They were so beautiful. This was probably my favorite color in this set, and I really haven't seen any gel polishes in this color before. This was a little bit new to me, and I just had to use it, so I did use it on my thumb, index, and my pinky. I went in with one coat, I cured for 30 seconds in my nail lamp, and I just wanted to build up the glitter and the rose gold color a little bit and make it a little less see-through on my nail, just have it be more opaque. So I went in with a second coat and I'm using my finger to clean around my cuticle area. You could always go in with a cleanup brush if you feel uncomfortable using your fingers, but for some reason I just always go in with my fingers. I feel like I just find it more easier to do it that way. But don't mind me, I'm just cleaning it up. You do want to make sure you do clean it up whether you use your other hand or you use a cleanup brush before curing. But after I had that second coat applied, I cured for 30 seconds and here are how they are looking. Absolutely adorable, I love them so much. Now for my middle and my ring finger, I'm taking the light pink shade. I forget the name of this one. But this is a gorgeous like milky pink. I don't know, it's like a light pink, but it gives me like a kind of like a strawberry milk. It like just reminds me of strawberry milk the way it kind of looks a little bit milky. I really love this color. And I also thought this color went super well with the rose gold color. I just think rose gold and like a light pink match and pair so perfectly together. I'm just going in with one even coat of that on both of my middle finger and my ring finger. I don't know why, but I did cure in between, but you don't have to do that if you like to keep your hand out of the lamp and in and out of the lamp as much as possible. You could go in with your even coat on both fingers and then do your cure of 60 seconds. The reason I did 30 seconds on the glitter and 60 seconds on this color was because the glitter was a little less opaque and this color was a bit more, so I just wanted to make sure it had a good cure. After the first layer was cured on both of the fingers, I'm now going in with my second coat, but I am going to be doing a marble design. So instead of curing this layer of pink, I'm just applying a even coat of pink, and then I'm going to take that rose gold color, which is called Cookie, I love the name, and I'm just taking this color and I'm just dotting on some of that the gel polish and then I'm just using a dotting tool and kind of mixing it up creating like a marble. I'm also going back in with that pink dotting some of that on and I just mix this up and marble it all together until I like it and then I cure for 60 seconds in my nail lamp and then off camera I repeated the same thing on my other finger. Here is how the nail set is looking, absolutely adorable. I love the marble and the rose gold glitter shade, but now we are going to be doing some nail art. I wanted to do some cloud nail art and also some four point stars. I just have been seeing clouds come a trend again. I remember one of the first nail art items that I drew. I can't remember. It's probably not the first, but the one that I was super excited about that I actually felt like I created a good cute nail set was the cloud nail set. I'm going to pop up a picture because I can remember the exact set that I drew clouds and I was just amazed with how it turned out and I was so happy with myself. But looking back at that nail set compared to this nail set, I feel like I have improved so much. And from that nail set, it hasn't even been a year now. I feel like I've done that nail set in about spring of spring or summer of 2021 and it is still winter and it is 2022 now. So I feel like I have grown and improved so much and yeah, I just am so happy with that nail set and I couldn't believe how much I have improved 
So I feel like clouds are a very, very beginner friendly nail art. Like you just take your dotting tool, draw on kind of like a cloud shape. You just want to make sure you have the highest point of the cloud be in the center. And then you just kind of draw like a cloud, like draw it how you think a cloud would look. I mean, obviously clouds look different so it doesn't even really matter and then you just take a dry brush and pat creating like kind of like a puffy cloud design and it just creates some depth and character to your nail art and yeah super easy very beginner friendly and i just love making clouds they are so easy and i I recommend doing this nail set to anyone else who thinks this is so cute. Just trust me, you will have so much fun and be so proud with the outcome. So I'm just doing my clouds. I did cure my middle finger before starting on my ring finger, but then after I have my clouds, I'm just going to be using that same white gel polish and creating some four point stars. So if you are still watching, I hope you are enjoying. I have been being being very consistent on my channel. I have been trying to get a video out every single day for you guys. I am just trying my hardest to be consistent. I just want to gain those subscribers and just grow my channel. I am on the road to 2K subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to turn on that bell so you are notified when I do upload a video. I have been uploading a nail tutorial video or a nail content video every single day for a while now. I mean, I feel like I'm going to need a break soon, but I'm just having so much fun. I'm having a lot of PR package that I just want to dive right into. I also have some special surprises for the month of March. I also have a giveaway coming up soon. So make sure you are staying active on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram. I'm going to kind of just do the giveaway. I have a feeling that I want to do it as whoever I'm seeing the most. So if you're liking my YouTube videos, if you're liking my Instagram photos, if you're commenting, if you're like supporting me, I'm just going to go by that and I just... The reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure the giveaway winner is actually watching my channel and not just like coming in because they hear the word giveaway. I definitely, I got this idea from Nails by Key. She was talking about this and I felt like this was totally like realistic and I wanted to follow this same pattern because I know that I have a lot of supporters and I want those to be the people who win my giveaway. So a giveaway will be coming soon. I also have some surprises coming up in March. So make sure you do subscribe to my channel and like this video if you are enjoying. So now back to the nail set here. I have finished all of the nail art and I'm just taking that Too Big Glam top coat, applying top coat to all of the nails. But before curing, on the marble nails, I'm going to add some small little rhinestones. I just decided that I wanted to add them like throughout the four point stars and the clouds and I'm just adhering them with the top coat because they are very tiny and I'm not wearing these nails for long time, for long term, so they will last with just the top coat. After I like the rhinestone placement, I do pop these into the nail lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then I will be back to apply my cuticle oil. After the top coat is all cured, I'm going in with my cuticle oil, applying that to these crusty cuticles and just to top off this nail set. It is winter time, I have crusty cuticles, so if my cuticles are looking a little bit crusty and you're wondering why it is because it is winter time my hands dry out so bad in the winter but i feel like i am keeping up with applying my lotion my cuticle oil and just hydrating my cuticles and my 
nails and hands in general but I really love this nail set. I want to say thank you again to 2B Glam for sending me this new gel polish set. I absolutely love it and I do want to rate this gel polish set a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love the colors and the set I created with it. I do just want to mention that this white gel polish was not included in this gel polish set but I will have a white gel polish that I used linked down below. Uh, but this gel polish set has beautiful colors and I am just in love with this rose gold glitter color. If you love rose gold, you definitely need this gel polish set. So I will have it linked down below for you guys, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like this video if you do enjoy this nail set and also comment below if you love rose gold like me. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.